Right, I'm back for what is going to be quite an interesting video for me on a personal level. It's going to be a custom fit for a putter, which is often very neglected. I am here with Adam, who's a PGA fitting specialist for Scottsdale Golf. And the first question I've got for you, Adam, is as far as I understand, there's a lot of attention paid to custom fit for irons and drivers and fairway wood. Yep but maybe not so much for putters. Is it becoming a big thing now? Is it something we should all be it's, considering? Yeah, it's not as big as, as you mentioned, but it, it's getting there now. I think the main reason is the technology to fit putters now. Right. And what will we be it's, using here this morning? In terms so of we've technology? got Sam Putt Lab, yeah. that which we, we find gives us the best information. And the kind of thing it's gonna highlight in terms of when you go for a fit in terms of irons, we might be looking yep. at the kind of shaft and the lie yep. angles. And yep. what, what, what will we find with putters in terms of custom fit? There's a lot of similarities. Is that? We're still gonna be looking at the length, yeah. the lie as you mentioned. The biggest one is gonna be the head type. Right. On the putters. Yeah, yeah. But essentially the yeah. information that's fed back through Sam Putting Lab is yep. very much the same thing yep. as what we get via Trackman yep. in terms of data. It it's going to tell us the same is, thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and and the next question before we actually get started into this fitting, it's all about sick putters, which I've only ever seen them in the hands of uh, Bryson Deschambeau and it's uh, sort of strange. Yep. If we're going to have a go with that, I hope, later yep, we'll on. Yeah, we've got all that. Now, just in terms of sick putters, what, what what's it all about and what, why are they so special at the minute? There, there's lots of things. The main one, which We'll talk about is what they call the DLT, descending yeah. loft technology. Okay. Traditional putter, you're going to have a consistent loft on the face, yeah. usually between two, three, four degrees. Yeah. The sick guys have designed it where that's actually going to change in the face. Yeah. So, depending on where you set up with your hands before the ball or behind the ball, it's but not going to have a negative effect. Right, that's all we need to know at this stage. We'll cool. step over behind us, cool. get on that putting mat and start collecting some data and it'll be interesting to see what I end up with. Yes, we'll go for it. Let's give you, I suppose we can call it just a random setup to first start with. Yep. Just want to watch here a few putts. We're not going into any detail here. We're just, just getting you a bit loose. Okay. I'm not expecting you to hold everything. Just do whatever comes natural. Yeah, yeah. So when you play, are there, are there any patterns you're seeing? Are you missing more left or right? Uh, uh, do you know what? It's a, it's a, and it is a question that I think is asked of yeah. a driver fitting or a putter fitting. Yeah. I think I'm very much, I can miss both left and right. Okay. There's, no, there's, no, uh, there's no consistent miss, but there's yeah. always, there is always a miss. When you stir over a putt, are you, are you thinking technique? Are you thinking I've got to, I've got to do this or I must, mustn't do this? No. There's, uh, there's lots of theories out there. Some people like to think straight back, straight forward. Some yeah. are very rounded. I, I think in my, my, in my head, my putting stroke is straight back and straight yeah. forward, whether it is or not, I don't is that, know. Is that what you'd like to have as well? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Um, but again, cool. I'm not what I would consider to be a, a technical golfer. Yeah, good. I very much just... No, uh, we don't want you to be, we want you no. to see the whole, let the ball and the putter do the work. Telling us you're aiming a little bit left. Yep. Which I did see we as did, well as yeah. set up. Yeah, yeah. If you look at the balls as well, yeah, the there, there's left. a bit of a pattern, pattern there. there yeah. Right, so a big bit today we're going to focus on is this page here. Yep. Because this is giving us all the information about how you're actually coming into the golf ball when you're yep. putting it. It's, um, it's not a golf swing as such, but even a putter, it's delivered. There's a 3D motion going on where you're going to be going down yep. and then coming up. Okay. Um, which is going to give us a launch on the putter. Yep. As good as greens are, they're never going to be snooker tables. Mm. The ball's always going to find a little hole to sit in. Yeah. So we do need to get that ball Lift. up, launching, okay. lifting it out to get it rolling. Initially, I'm thinking we need something with more weight in the toe. Yeah. Reason being, if I show you this, you can have someone who's very vertical and straight, but that face is actually rotating yeah. a lot. Which is effectively what I'm doing, is it? Yeah. So if you've got someone who is very straight, but actually that toe's just really close it closing bit, yeah. quick. Yeah. That's where potentially we look at something with a bit more weight yeah. just to resist and yeah. slow down how much yeah. that's towing. Yeah. And, and like how was, how, sorry to interrupt, how was that face balance, the one we just used then, was it? Th this, no. was, this was, yeah. the reason I started with this one because it's, long, yeah. it's halfway. Yeah, between. It's the putt shape everyone recognizes. Yeah, yeah. It's a good base point. Yeah. So we're probably gonna start by looking at something with a little bit more toe. Yeah. Toe weights as well. Okay. Right, so what I've done, like I mentioned, we want to get a bit more weight in the toe. Okay. The way I've done it, which is really good with sick putters, allows us to do this. I've still kept the same head. Yeah. 
I've changed the hosel type. Okay. So before it was your plumber's neck style. Yeah, yeah. Now obviously it's a lot smaller. And that changes the... the yeah, so that, that changes where that shaft would enter the putter okay. head, which now gives us a lot more weight in the toe okay. there. So right, see how that one goes. I'm trying to keep as many variables the same at the yeah, moment yeah. before going crazy and changing everything. So what this is showing us is a little bit the subconscious did kick in. Yeah, You, you aimed a little bit better that time. Yeah, yeah. It's still closed though, which is good. So yes. we, we know your pattern. Uh, but this time, all of a sudden, Massive difference. Instead of being three degrees closed the impact, we're now 0 0.9. 0 .9, yeah. So we reduce that significantly. We made some more changes then. Yes, so obviously we like the numbers we saw there, yep. performance. I want to try something a little bit different now. Okay. Pretty obvious really yeah, what we're changing change, here. Yeah. So keeping the same shaft, really same like neck that as neck well, yeah. because we need that toe hang. Yeah. We're just being a bit greedy now, we're trying to get it even more user friendly. Yeah. So we we noticed a few of your strikes were a little bit off I center. I did see that, yeah. So I'm just going to go, let's go crazy, MOI, yeah. most forgiving putter out there. Yeah. To see what happens. Okay, cool. So. And again, I think I mentioned earlier from a, from a traditionally I've always used a sort of yep. what, what this would be classed, I suppose, a mallet style puzzle, wouldn't it? So it's really sim simple, but having yeah. that big line as well. Yeah, alignment like, aid. Yeah. Alignment does it does help. It's strong, isn't it? Some people you give them a putter like this and they'll say there's too much going on. It's yeah, no, I understand. I think for my eye, yeah, it just seems mm -hmm. uh, there seems a little bit more uh, stability. Yep. Um, when the larger headed putters came out, generally they were always face balanced. Yeah. Um, I'd say it's only the last couple of years really they've really gone into actually sticking some toe weight into them as well. Performance on your face angle, at aim and at target, I'm expecting very similar. Yeah. Because we, we have kept the same characteristics. Yeah. So again, a little bit left. Yeah. But impact, 0.3. So it's even... That's, uh, that's it's, where we want to be. Yeah. If it starts with a 0, we're doing well. Yeah. Path again, nicely on the inside now. Yeah. So I am actually leaning towards going to something a bit more MOI with you. Yeah. Which, in, in non jargon term, is more forgiven. Yeah. Which but we don't want that putter, sense. if you do slightly off center strike it, yeah. moving, open, and closing. Yeah. So it's. And what's really good, the one thing this machine doesn't tell us is your thoughts and feel. Yeah. Your feedback was pretty yeah. positive as soon as you looked down and saw yeah, it. Yeah, I think for me, yeah, it's just that so, sense of familiarity, isn't it? Yeah, we can find the best numbers. If it doesn't look right and feel right, yeah, it's not going to be a winner. It was interesting so for me though as well. You said that um, every initially every mallet style putter was built face balanced. Yeah, and I assume to be honest with you, they all still were. Yeah. So even from a putting stroke, um, mm -hmm. you can still see there's a bit of a, an arc. Yeah. That I yeah manage with that. A lot of the guys and ladies on tour now, you are seeing a lot of these large head putters. Yeah. But with toe weight. Yeah, yeah. That was interesting because. Um, yeah, straight back, straight forward sounds great. Yeah, yeah. In theory, but but yeah, all the all the stats in the world tell us it's the open Otherwise. close technique. Wow, which is working the best. Traditional putter varies between two, three, four degrees aloft. Yeah, but either way, whatever it is, it will be consistent across the face. Yeah, what the sick guys are doing is basically the bottom of that putter is one degrees. Yeah, then it's in four increments across yeah. the face. So we go one, two, three, four degrees yeah. aloft at the top. Yeah. So that's to counter for, there's loads of different setups now. There's no one fits all putting setup. Yeah. So you'll see some players, a lot of shaft lean. Yeah. And then what that's gonna do with a loft now is de-loft it. Mm. And usually it means they're gonna strike it higher in the face. So the counter for that is let's stick more loft at the top. Yeah. Then the opposite, obviously, if you've got someone hands behind, Almost popping it up. Popping it up, scooping yeah. it a little bit. We need them hitting that Less lower. loft on there. Yeah. It, yeah. So it, the idea being that it comes out neutral. Yeah, is that so the kind of it, yeah, basically we, we've just taken out another variable. Yeah. Right, I've seen this one on the, uh, on yeah, the so, so obviously we've just had positive results in the last putter option we went for. Yep. But we've got this here. Yeah, we yeah. Can't not try this one we can't not try this one. Obviously Bryson's having all the, the joy of this at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll try and get your pattern well, like him. Uh, first of all, you have to show me how to use it, I think. Right, so, what would come natural to you first? Right, so what we're gonna do is put that Jeez. hand at the bottom. Which one, this one? Yep. 
and really get it going up your arm. Right. Hence the name arm lock. Wow. And yeah, pretty much doing, doing keep what you're that, doing Keep there. that flat against your forearm, yeah? That's, yeah? That, that's the key. Th this hand, there's variations. Most people are just basically locking it yeah. with the thumb. Like that? Yeah. It's, wow. It's going to feel a lot different to start with. Yeah, it feels, uh, I mean, the way the sort of head sits at a dress is so weird, isn't yeah. it? So, so without realising it now, what what in that setup? Yeah, your hands are really forward, massively forward. So yeah, so that that would be de lofting it. Yeah. So where before you were striking it, whatever you were, two three on degrees a, up swing, yeah. on an up. Yeah. We'll find now it's not it's not going to be so far up. Yeah. So well, this is where this yeah, DLT so, is it called? Yeah. Is that where this comes in? Yeah. So traditionally now we'd have to look at adding more loft to your putter. Yeah. Don't have to with these guys. Right. Because it doesn't matter where your hands are you're going to make impact now where that loft is. God. I'll take some concentration just it's to get in the position to make a It's going to feel like a bit of a fishing rod to start with and then it will... There you go. <laughs> We don't want this to happen, do we? <laughs> we never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot longer or a lot more concentration to sort yeah. of get aligned and and maybe again maybe that's a good thing that one just come out of the toe a little bit okay my putter fit was complete and a very worthwhile experience Making changes that help you play better golf is always a positive, and highlighting your stroke tendencies is a real eye-opener. The Deschambeau putter performed miracles, but not sure I could get my head around the grip with limited time to practice with it. Overall, an experience that I would highly recommend, and definitely an area of the game that's sometimes overlooked. That's me done, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, and if you're not subscribed already, then consider doing so, and I will see you all soon.